through the first bend or track him and she might be hard to beat. Just having a little bit of a problem one in the middle of the line there, either Rixie Bale or Minister Mentor. Now they're set to run. Race 10, green light on. Ready to roll, the third last, they're set. Away and racing now and slow quested Bale and Rixie Bale went out fast to cross over. Drags across Aston Wyatt. Three wide so to Polly. There was trouble and Minister Mentor was checked. So to the back straight and Rixie Bale slipped away. Led by three or four to quested Bale. Up to third Jolly at Bale and then Gucci Girl cleared a zipping Riley. Now well back about five away. Minister Mentor then so to Polly and last Aston Wyatt around the bend. Rixie Bale led. Quested Bale's trying hard. They're both normally getting tired here. Rixie Bale still in front and Rixie Bale won by half a length quested Bale zipping Riley's thumped home from the back for third and then Joliet Bale Gucci girl cleared a minister mentor so to Polly and Aston White last in Rixie Bale all of the way and the gallop 30 and 54 well the top three or four were all leaders who get tired and nothing could get to Rixie Bale because of that number four the winner just keeps on winning races was able to land in front pinch a break and has gone all of the way. Number four for Corey Grenfell will beat one. Quested Bale. Well, if he jumped tonight, he would have won. He did not jump tonight. He'll run a nice second. And Zipping Riley was the only greyhound that's made any ground. And he was storming home late. A bit of a return to form for him. And I catching third. So 4 one, three, seven, the numbers. The time, 30 and 54. And the run home only 12.49. So you'd struggle to see too many Saturday night races going any slower than 12.49. But they don't put the, uh, the run home time on the winner's check. So winner here, number four, Rixie Bale. 3.70, 160, 180 and 